obviously this is a, a solid defensive team that you played, but they have on occasion given up some threes. Can you explain what you guys saw in their defense that you were looking to take advantage of? Yeah, I mean, uh, each time that we played against Charlotte this year, we've gotten a number of uh, catch-and-shoot threes. I think they are actually one of the highest in the league in terms of the amount of catch-and-shoot threes that they uh, they give up. They are a, a good defensive team, though, where they, they close the space high, uh, close the space quickly and get good contests. But, I don't know, I think we did a good job just sort of moving them around, you know, giving up, uh, you know, maybe an extra pass here or there uh, from a good shot to a great shot. Christian Winfield with the New York Daily News. Hey, Joe, when, when you've got a guy like Kevin who can just dribble up the floor and shoot over anybody who's who's waiting for him kind of at the three, does, does that do something for you guys, or do you kind of have to plan that? Like, how, how do you work through him having that ability but also trying to get settled on offense as well? Um, I mean... I think that's just um, something that's very specific to Kevin Durant. I wouldn't say that there's too many people probably in the history of basketball that uh, can do what he does um, and at the clip that he does it. So, yeah, it's definitely a luxury to have that, and uh, it makes everybody's job a lot easier because he commands so much attention, um, you know, no matter when he has the ball, um, even tonight, uh, whether he was bringing it up or, you know, catching it in the post. They were trying all sorts of different sort of schematic things where, you know, they would zone, try and just overload, always trying to be in help. And it allows a lot of us other guys, um, you know, much cleaner looks. Greg Logan with Newsday. Uh, Joe, how frustrated were you the other night in Philadelphia where they did everything they could to chase you off the uh, three point line? You only got two shots. And and does it kind of underline the importance uh, of three-point shooting for this team and for you in particular to how everything goes. Yeah, Philly did a good job uh, defensively. I think, you know, in total, I think we only we didn't make um, too many threes. I can't remember exactly what the number was, but um, I know it was one of our lowest of the season. And, uh, you know, it's not that we live and die by, by threes, but, um, you know, when the three ball is going for us, it kind of opens up a number of other options offensively. But a lot of times the threes are going for us because, you know, the defense, uh, you know, everything is sort of, sort of all in sync. The defense is there. We're able to get out in transition, get easier looks um, that way. And, uh, you know, against Philly, it was kind of tough from the start. It seemed like we were playing against a set defense for most of the night. Alex Schiffer with The Athletic. Hey, Joe, Miles Bridges got off to a hot start and just seemed to have, a, I think it might have been a career night for him with, the, with 32 points. Just what, what made him so tough to guard tonight? Um, I mean, he's been playing really well. Uh, he's had an unbelievable season. You know, I think uh, it's one of those things where he's just kind of getting more and more confidence. You know, he's a really talented player. Just uh, unbelievable athlete, but you know he, uh, he you know he shot it shot it well tonight, and I think you know when he's able to have that room and rhythm, that confidence from from three, uh, makes the rest of his game a lot easier because you got to you know press up on him a little bit, and he's so athletic he can you know penetrate, get to the rim, and then he's uh, um, an excellent finisher just because of his strength and athleticism. Back to Christian Winfield. Joe, at what point would you say you added sidestep and step back threes to your game? Because that's not something you always have, but I think you had a couple today. Yeah, it's not something that, you know, I typically do, but it is one of these things where, um, you know, this past off season and even now during the season, I just work on, you know, little stuff like that uh, to create space, um, you know, because for me, a lot of times it's it's really just about trying to hunt and find space to get shots. Um, so whether that's, you know, moving without the ball or then when you have it, uh, you know, flybys, sidesteps, things of that nature. So I have been working on it. Um, but uh, it's definitely one of those things where it's, um, it's so much of a feel thing over the course of the game. And uh, I think because I was able to get some shots early on, it made it a little bit easier to feel it out um, later on. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Alex.